We've all been stuck in traffic, but this traffic jam is a little different. This is a drawbridge on the coast of North Carolina, and while you may have to wait to cross it, the technology that makes it work is amazing. At its simplest, you can think of a drawbridge as a giant seesaw. That's because the entire structure is based on the idea of counterbalancing. Under the bridge, there's a large enclosed room full of 100-ton concrete blocks. Moving the room down will counterbalance the weight of the bridge and lift it up. Two small electric motors move the room. The motors drive a series of gears and shafts. The gears push the room down so the bridge leaf lifts up. To close the bridge, you just have to move the room back to its original location. The teeth on the gears ensure that this happens slowly so the bridge doesn't slam shut. Before the bridge is lifted, there are several things that have to happen. The drawbridge operator switches all the traffic lights to red, sounds a warning horn, and lowers the safety gate. After looking to make sure there are no cars on the bridge, he begins the lift. While the cars have to wait, the boats sail right through. So that's how drawbridges work. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works.